Welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Mark Hoffman and I know why you're here. It's to look at that, the most standout Triton GLXR simply you will find. This video is all going to be about condition, condition, condition and a bit about the accessories fitted to this vehicle because as I mentioned you are going to be hard pressed to find a better prepared, better fitted out Triton than this one. We'll start at the front. Obviously, the first things that jump out at you are it's really tall, but it's got a lot of things on it. We've got the factory nudge bar fitted to this vehicle, as well as a, I'd say that'd be a 20 inch light bar fitted to the front of the car, giving it a really good punch at night time. One thing to note, obviously with a car with this much gear, something I look at being our resident off-roader here is any sort of bush damage. And it's really struggling to find any, to be honest. We've got a couple of touch-ups. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Seven touch-ups across the front of the bonnet, all done in the proper paint. So someone's actually looked after this car. Apart from that, nothing to talk about on the front of the vehicle. We do have a factory fitted Triton snorkel fitted to the vehicle, making those high country water crossings a breeze. Here's the first thing, my camera's gonna have to step back. Just come back with me a bit, Lynn. Have a look at this car. How tough is this thing? The biggest change, obviously, we've got a lift kit fitted to this vehicle. I would say it's a touch of about two inches, or, or, the tyres do change that a bit and fitted with 33s on this Triton as big as you can go on a Triton and giving it a great ground clearance on this vehicle. One thing to note with these wheels, the car will be delivered on standard wheels. These wheels will come with the vehicle just for roadworthy purposes but this car does come with the 33s with the sun raisers. We have brilliant condition Toyo all-terrain tyres on it as well. Something to note as we come down the side of the vehicle you'll see no signs of dents, nicks, scratches or anything like that and to be honest paintwork you can hide that stuff there is no signs of bush pinstriping on any of the plastics down the side of this car. So it's definitely not been any near any trees, which surprises me for a car that looks like this. Down the bottom, you will never get a door ding or anything. I've got these fitted to my car. These rock rails here actually go to both sides of the frame rail. They are very very tough, very solid. You can use them as a bit of a step, but they're more designed for guard protection on the vehicle. We'll go up a little bit, obviously with the GLXR, we've got the privacy glass at the back. We've got, it looks like slightly tinted at the front. I wouldn't say it's darkest legal because they don't match, but it is a bit tinted at the front. As we go up, you obviously have your shovel holder here as well on the Rhino rack. So if you want to mount a shovel there, you can. Do have the racks up the top so you can get, being a Rhino rack, you can get more adjustable things there to say, fit a set of max tracks or maybe a high lift jack, something like that as well. Coming down to the back now of the Triton, yet again, another set of 33s Toyo. Really good wide tyre and um, heaps and heaps of tread there on the Sunraiser rim. One thing I look at on these utes, always top of the tub. No signs of dings, nicks, scratches or anything on the top of this tub. Presents brilliantly. Inside the tub, as we don't have any covering on the vehicle, it looks like from the holes just inside the tub, which are pretty standard, it might have had a canopy at one point in its life. We can option that in, being obviously a Mitsubishi dealer, we can help you with any accessories that we, you wish to fit to the vehicle. Does have a genuine Mitsubishi tub liner in brilliant condition, no signs of um, shovel mark, concrete, any sort of paint or anything like that you commonly see from some of the Tritons. At the back, obviously, GLXR badging. We'll go into the bonuses of that when we talk about the engine and gearbox. Do have a, a auxiliary rear LED light fitted as well, wide into the reverse circuit. Going down into the tow bar on this one, obviously in the Triton it is three ton tow rating on the vehicle as well. Coming around to the passenger side. This is the side you generally see damage on. I usually say that for the hatchbacks because it's the gutter side of the vehicle, but I don't think a gutter is going to give this truck much trouble. Over the side here, we've got one and two little tiny touch-ups on the tub there. Very, very small. I'm a bit brutal when I do these videos. Coming down to the back yet again, 33-inch Toyo all-terrain tyre at the rear here. Yet again, the side step presenting brilliantly. And one thing, as I mentioned, being an off-road guy here, I'm actually stunned. There isn't actually any marks underneath here, indicating like my ones have hit rocks and things, and there's nothing under here. It presents brilliantly. So it shows me it hasn't had any hard off-roading at all. As we continue along, the King's Awning. We all know about... Um, 4x4 Super Center in their magazine, uh, 4x4 Adventure, all that sort of fun stuff. The awning comes out, it is a 2.5 by I think 3 meter. I'm happy to measure it for you, but I think it is a 3 meter, it could be a 2.5. We'll get it out in a minute, we'll have a bit of a play with that anyway. 
Up the front, obviously, we've got the Oricom UHF aerial as well, mounted up here nice and high to get that good range. Last of the wheels now, brilliant condition, Toyo Open Country All-Terrain 33-inch tyre at the front as well. So the whole wear in the exterior, I can't stress enough how clean this car actually is. All right, round to the front of the Triton GLXR now. Let's have a talk about the power plant of this example. In here, you're looking at a very clean engine bay. Wiring for the accessories has been done very, very neatly. You won't actually notice it, it's that neat. We'll be uh, looking at a four cylinder, 2.5 litre direct inject turbo intercooled diesel. All of those words meet 131 kilowatt of power, 350 newton meters of torque. Now here's the thing, with the GLXR, you do step up to a five speed automatic, as opposed to the four speeds in the lower models. Four by four, of course giving you an amazing 9.6 litres to the 100. Out of a 75 litre tank, you're gonna get in excess of 780 kilometres of average driving range. All right, inside the Triton GLXR now. And um, really comfortable place to be and really, really easy to live with. Nice and simple, but you do get some of the good luxuries in life with the GLXR. Starting obviously with a black leather steering wheel, black leather, black stitching. We do have a bit of wear sort of from there to there across the set. Hasn't gone through the leather, it just has dulled it a little bit on the steering wheel. So someone drives the car like this, I would think. Um, nowhere really on the right hand side buttons where you have your cruise control. Left side, the volume, I'm guessing the previous owner liked a loud because it's um, got a little bit on the plus button there. But overall, brilliant condition. Behind the steering, we've got our front wiper controls, of course. On this side, we've also got our headlights as well as front fog light as well in the GLXR. Going over to this side, we have a little button for many things. We have an active stability control. You can turn that off, although when you engage the low gearing over here, it turns that off anyway. Um, and over here, we've got our electric mirrors on the door, four-door power windows, as well as a lock there to turn the uh, windows off. We're going to go up now, Mr. Lin. You'll see next to our little service sticker, we have a Bluetooth phone kit fitted to this vehicle. Very easy to use. Phone rings, hit the answer button, talk to your friend, hit the answer button again to make them go away. Nice and easy. Saves you fines from Mr. Blood. In the center, we have our dash cluster there. As you'll see, red illumination on it. Tack on the left, 100 kilometers an hour in the center. Car currently showing just a touch over 107,000 kilometers on this vehicle. And you do have your little four-wheel drive indicator there showing which, uh, which diffs are activated. Across and into the centre. Oh, I almost forgot. Lynn, up. For those playing at home, you might see him in the reflection. I'm not sure if you see. I know you see me. Hello. Um, it is Lynn, is our cameraman. We are looking at a reverse camera and a giant mirror as well, actually. And quite a large reversing camera. It's quite, actually, quite impressive that. And uh, I reckon if you put the tow bar tongue in there, you would have no trouble lining up the caravan. The caravan. No um, arguments with the wife doing that one. That'd be nice. Obviously, pop that back into park. Coming down here, brilliant feature. You've got your multi-display here, currently showing it's warming up. It is 14 degrees here in Happy Melbourne. We're listening to 100.3, which is Nova, I think. And we've got a compass. You don't know how much you use that when you're off-road until you have a car that doesn't have it. And of course, a clock, which is nice to have in a car. Down from there, we've got the um, climate control system. And I don't know if reckon it's me. I'm not sure my cameraman will agree, but those buttons are different. Something's changed about the buttons in the center there. I like them. They've got a bit of a rough feel to them. That looks pretty cool. And little chrome trims. Um, obviously, I'm getting distracted there by shiny buttons. Look at that. Where you want it, how much fan, how much temperature, and a button to test all your indicators at once if you want to play with them. Um, moving on now, we've got our audio system singled in unit in this car. Quite simple, does work. MP3 compatible, of course, AM, FM. Over this side, we've got our CB handle, obviously, here being the Oricom unit. And um, you've got your controller down there to select your channels, etc. So you can break a break a 1.9 until your heart's content. Coming down from there, one of the good features with the GLXR, my cameraman's going to have to look over his shoulder now at the back window, the GLXR has a roll down rear window. Great if you've got the dog and you want to let him poke his head in the window, or if you've got the Esky through there, you can have one of your mates um, pick up a drink as you're on your uh, drive to wherever you're going. Very nice feature. I've got a little button here to turn the light bar on and off, and of course a 12 volt socket. Under here, a little cover for the 12 volt socket as well as a little bin. As I mentioned before, GLXR gives you a couple of upgrades here in the gearbox. We've got a five-speed automatic here, obviously with sports mode. So if you want to, when you're off-roading, you want to be able to select first gear and hold first gear for a downhill descent. Um, and of course, the GLXR gives you a center differential, which the other Tritons doesn't, don't have, doesn't have, don't have. That was terrible, Mark. Um, so you drive it most of the time in too high. Then of course you have, as we go up, we're into four high. 
and then you can go into four high lock center. So four high is a bit of a damp day. If you want extra stability, you can drive this car right now in four high, no problems. Four high locked center will lock the center differential. That is for loose surfaces only, so like dirt, gravel, that sort of stuff. And then uh, if you need to crawl along, you've got four low locked center as well over there. Let's pop it back into two. From here, two cup holders, handbrake of course, center console down there we've got little AV inputs for the audio system as well going into the interior really really good condition seats on this very clean no signs of rips or stains or anything like that carpets we don't have any carpet mats with this car but the carpets present really really well so does the dashboard actually really impressive inside the car leading into the back seats we have the same trim back there now behind that seat there is two child seat anchor points so the whole family can enjoy the trip now we'll jump into the service history of this car. Where are we? Uh, doo -doo -doo. Owned by a man with the same last name as me. Look at that. There you go. Small world. Continuing along. Service history on the car. Mitsubishi books. They're always fun. So we've got the 15. We've got the 30. Um, uh, a little late. We've got the 45. Just a touch late. But it's been brought back by doing the 60. Then we've got the 75. Then we've go from 75 to 105, but then we here at Berwick Mitsubishi have gone through our Mitsubishi workshop at 107 and a bit to make sure the car is ready and right for you. Thank you for watching this video walk around tour of our GLXR Triton. As you've seen, amazing amount of gear all over this truck. We've even set it up because it's a bit of a cool day. Why not have a relax, have a seat. Imagine yourself, maybe not here, sitting somewhere in the high country, on the beach, having a barbecue with your mates. Say hello to Lynn. He's actually our cameraman. He's usually standing behind the camera. It's his YouTube debut today. So definitely give us a call, 9907 0555. And thank you for watching.